Ming Tech gave 12 stickers to his sister and one fifth of the remainder to his brother. He was then left with two thirds of his stickers. How many stickers did he have at first? Okay, so let's draw the model. So Ming Tech gave 12, right? And then he gave one fifth of the remainder to the brother. So the first model we're gonna draw will be the rough model. So, so we're just gonna draw a long bar. Okay, so over here he said that he gave 12 to the sister. Okay, then one fifth of the remainder. So what is this? This is the remainder, right? So if you are a parent watching this, always jot down all the information as much as possible to let your child know that this is the remainder. Why do I need to do this? It's because the sentence clearly states one fifth of the remainder. But yet a lot of students, if you realize when they're teaching your own kids, they will take one fifth of everything instead of one fifth of the remainder, which is why I have to put it very clearly. This is the remainder. This is the entire thing. Okay, so since it's one fifth of the remainder, the remainder we have to cut into five parts, right? So five parts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so five parts. So he gave one out of five of the remainder to the brother. So I'm going to shade this one. This one will be for the brother, the bro. Okay, then he said that he's left with two thirds of the stickers. So what does this tell us? If I were to extract this portion out, this one is two thirds, right? Okay, so let me extract this out. Huh? So this is the extraction method that I taught you all previously. So if you all can remember, please go back to the previous video to watch the extraction portion. So this is actually two thirds. This. Okay, so I'm going to put the dotted lines to show. This is two thirds. Which means what? Which means that this entire thing, okay, which consists of the sister and the bro, is one third. Okay, make sense? So just to recap, uh, this is the entire thing, and then this one is 12, this is one fifth of the remainder, okay, and then this is four fifth of the remainder, and the four fifth of the remainder is two thirds of the entire thing over here. Okay, so this is actually how you're gonna draw the model. Okay, so do you realize that this portion is the same as this portion? This portion is the same as this portion and this portion is the same as this entire portion which means that one long bar consists of the sister 12 stickers and one fifth of the remainder for the brother okay so this one is the brother i'm going to put a b here and this one is for the sister i'm going to put an s over here okay so do you also realize that this, the brother, right, the one fifth, right, this is the same as this, this entire thing is the same as this, is the same as this, is the same as this, is the same as this. They are all the same, right, because it's one fifth of the remainder. This is also one fifth of the remainder, one fifth of the remainder, one fifth, one fifth. So it's actually all the same. So if I were to split this up, right, because I told you that this long bar is equivalent to this entire thing. Sorry. So this long bar is equivalent to this entire thing. So if this is also the brother, which means that this must be the sister as well. This is actually how you visualize. So what does this tell us? It tells us that each of the one-fifth is the brother as well as the sister. They are both the same. They are both the same. So right now we are proving the fact that they are both the same. Which means what? Which means that each of the one-fifth is 12. Okay? So each of them will be 12. So I'm going to put 12 over here. So if I have to cut all this right, it will be the sister, the brother, okay? And each of them will be the same, which is 12. This is one of the more tricky type of question. Because the question states that Ming Tech gave 12 stickers to the sister and then one fifth of the remainder to the brother. And you have no idea, right, whether the number of stickers given to the sister is the same as the number of stickers given to the brother. You have no idea. But you are now using the model to prove that, yes, indeed, they are the same. It is only after you can prove that they are the same, then you can find out this which is how many stickers did he have all together. So now that we have proven that they are both the same and they are all 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. With this by itself, I can then now just do the question. How many stickers do you have all together at first? So number of stickers he has at first, okay, will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 sets of 12. 6 times 12 giving us 72. Okay. So you are now using the model to prove your own concept. 
after you have proved the concept, then you can do it immediately. See, within one working, I will be able to get the answer. And you can be sure that it's definitely correct. Alright, so if a parent watching this, remember, I'm using the extraction method, which means that I draw one rough model, okay, and I take this portion and I extract it out over here. And after I extract it, I lengthen it to make it the same. Then now I can do comparison. Once I can do comparison, I can prove that the system brothers, uh, the stickers given are the same. And then I'll immediately do my sentence, my arrow, and my working. Done. Okay, so remember, if a parent watching this, please teach them how to draw the model. If you do not know how to draw the model, go back to my previous videos. Uh, for most of the fraction, ratio type of question, and even most of the other topics I'm teaching, I'm using a lot of the modeling. Okay, because modeling is by far the best visual representation of the question. Okay, done.